Hey friends, my name is Yi and you're watching Yi Miss It Easy. And welcome to the last lesson for Design Technology D2 Timbers. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this playlist and series. But let's dive into the last lesson which is 7.8, Surface Treatment and Finishes for Functional and Aesthetic Purposes. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 7.8.1 which is the Surface Finishes and Treatment, which includes these things over here. So check out the pain comment for all the timestamps. And we'll move on to the what the first one is 7.8.1 surface finishes and treatment. And we'll start off with painting. And it's to protect wood using brush or spray directly. And here's how to prepare it. You can have a read for yourself. Like sand wood with, with abrasive. Then apply the top coat with painting. Advantage includes it's easy to, easy to apply, it protects wood and it improves aesthetic. But this advantage should be is scruffy, time consuming, and it covers a lot of the natural wood grain. And staining is basically enhancing the natural grain of a timber, and you have to sand wood before uh, staining it by using a brush or cloth to apply. And advantage includes it, it enhances wood and it gives a wide range and gives an even application of color. But this advantage should be that it's flammable, so it must be used in a well ventilated area due to the toxic nature. Varnishing is basically to, to like protect and enhance wood and you sand wood with abrasive starting from coarse to go into the fine to get rid of all the dust and a piece of cloth or brush and apply a thin layer to apply and when applying with the brush you need to use a very fine abrasive and apply another coat it gives a maximum shine. Advantage includes it's easy to apply, it's cheap, it's attractive and it's waterproof. And this advantage could be it's difficult to get neat and very dirty, and it stains wood which makes it darker. Then we have wax and oil. Wax basically protects from dirt and it makes glass shine. And you have to seal the surface of a timber before that uh, to prepare. And for application, it's basically a piece of cloth and apply a thin layer. Advantage is that it gives glass shine and it enhances the wood. But this advantage could be it's prone to marking if someone places a hot object. And oil is used to nourish and, and, enhance, and enhance the color of the wood, like this you can see. And before the, uh, for the preparation, the oil is rubbed onto the surface and soaks in. And a brush or a lint-free cotton cloth, you have to apply a thin layer and allow it to penetrate up to 10 minutes. And the advantage could be it's, it's good waterproofing for timber. And vegetable oil in kitchenware is non-toxic and it's easy to apply. But disadvantage should be the surface will feel oily and it needs to be reapplied from time to time. And it's hard to use off porous woods, which are basically woods that have holes in it. And lastly, we have shellac and veneering. Shellac it tends to be used on expensive furniture to give it a glossy shine. And for preparation, Several layers are built by rubbing the polish on to create a finish called the French polish. And application, it consists of applying many thinner coats of shellac dissolved in denatured alcohol, so it is easy to apply. Advantage should be it's glossy and it's quick drying and non-toxic, but the disadvantage should be it's easily damaged by water and heat, and it's not scratch resistant. And lastly, we have veneering, and it's, it's a process where a thin layer of more expensive wood is glued onto a surface of a cheaper wood to make it a little more expensive and more aesthetically pleasing. And a veneer is basically a thin layer of wood, and a thin layer of wood is glued onto the surface using different adhesive. Advantage would be the expensive and decorative wood can be put onto a cheaper wood to make it look like more expensive and more like um expensive and nice looking. But disadvantage could be the veneer is a natural wood, so it still needs to have a like a, a finish applied onto it. And that's it for this last series or last video for the whole playlist for DT Timbers, which today we will look into 7.8, the surface finishes and treatments. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this series and playlist. And if you found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any if you have any questions or criticisms. And also share it with the peers if you, if you found it useful and helpful. And check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.